So we're going to have our first reading now, which is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 to 24. Be joyful always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not put out the Spirit's fire, do not treat prophecies with contempt, test everything, hold on to the good, avoid every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit and soul be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, the one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Our second reading is taken from John chapter 1, verses 6 to 8, and then from 19 to 28. There came a man who was sent from God. His name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. Now this was John's testimony, when the Jews of Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to ask him who he was. He did not fail, fail to confess, but confessed freely. I am not the Christ. They asked him, then who are you? Are you Elijah? He said, I am not. Are you the prophet? He answered, no. Finally, they said, who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way for the Lord. Now some Pharisees who had been sent questioned him. Why then do you baptise if you are not the Christ, nor Elijah, nor the prophet? I baptise with water, John replied. But among you stands one you do not know. He is the one who comes after me, the thongs of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. This all happened at Bethany on the other side of the Jordan, where John was baptising. And our third hymn for today is Joy to the World. 